Zachariah! Please, just call me Zach. What are you up to, Zachariah? <sighs> I'm just making lunch, Michael. Mm. What precisely is lunch? Well, today, it's a sandwich. Truly intriguing. But if you'll please enlighten me on this one. Oh god, no. What is a sandwich? What the hell are you on about? As in, when does it stop being just some bread, some lettuce, some cheese, and start being something more? It's 7am. I'm not ready for this. If I was to just throw a bag of lettuce onto the counter there in front of you, you'd call me mad. So evidently it's not the ingredients that are doing it. Maybe it's when you put the ingredients together. I'm gonna hurt someone. But then it's still a sandwich when you take a bite out of it, or if some ingredients fall out. So evidently it can't be that. Why do you always do this shit? It's a sandwich because it's a sandwich. Sandwich because... My god, Zachariah! I prefer Zach. The Wittgensteinian interpretation! The what? It's a sandwich not because of some intrinsic... Not because it's special in any way, but just because we perceive it to be one! Wow, I'm speechless. I know, my genius is truly stupefying. I need to go write this down. Yeah, have fun with that. Uh, I'm going out to meet with Jennifer. Okay. Zachariah, I don't suppose you've ever heard of the trolley problem? Essentially, it's a moral conundrum where, imagine there are two people tied to a track on one side, and one person tied to a track on another side, and there is a trolley speeding towards them, out, out, out completely out of control, and there's no way to stop it. And you, from the sidelines, spot a switch. This switch is labelled Switch Tracks. If you pull the switch, it'll switch to the track with only one person on it. So, so essentially, the, the central moral question here is whether inaction carries the same weight or more weight as action. Well, personally, I would choose to not pull the lever and have the two people run over for two reasons, really, why I feel the way that I do about that. Well, the first reason is that I don't believe that inaction and action have the same moral weight. And the second reason is, frankly, can you imagine the damage to my reputation if it got out that I'd killed someone? You truly are a stimulating conversational partner, Zachariah. So, Zachariah, what is your opinion on the trolley problem? Zachariah? Hey, hey buddy. Hey, hey, bu uh, hey, buddy, are you in there? <laughs> Zach, are you in there? Michael, if you don't get the fuck off of me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, would you pull the lever? Get the fuck out. Zachariah, could you pass me a glass, please? I don't know, Mike, can I? I prefer Michael. <sighs> Who's to say that I have any control of whether or not I hand the glass over to you? What are you getting at? Well, I mean, I don't have any control over my actions. Not really. It's all just a series of chemical reactions in my brain. Hmm. You see, the problem there, Zachariah, is that you fallaciously presupposed a deterministic framework. Right. So can you pass me the glass, please? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 